First of all, let me show you that how small the car is. You don't have to go park all the way up to the front of the curb. You can leave a little bit extra room. It's also too that the car is tinted. We do live in Arizona, so it helps protect you from the sun. Even the front window is tinted, but you can't tell from the inside. One of the first features that you're gonna probably use is to move the seat back, forward and back. And this little lever does this. This lever will move the back of the seat forward and back. So that's where it is. It's kind of hard to find sometimes, but let you know, here's the lever. Okay, if you don't require the back seats and you have a little bit of luggage, the switch is right underneath there. And then the seat, my right seat is already down or left, depending on which side you're looking. But you simply pull up on this little lever and you push forward. You got tons of cargo room back here with both seats down. If you want to back up, you need to take somebody there. If you need to take somebody in the car, just simply pull these up. They're pretty light and simple. You have two back seats and your Mini Cooper as well. They're a little tight, but they do in a pinch. Okay, on to the passenger side. Again, to move the back of the seat, your back seat, your back of the seat, let's call the back of the seat, forward and back. The toggle switch is back here. Okay, for longer drives, you get a thigh extender. It is super comfortable when you need it to be. Like it's super comfortable for kind of a low car and especially on long drives. But that's where you do that part. That's where that extender is. If you want to move the car or you want to move the seat forward and back, the bar down here, simply pull up and then push the seat forward and back and that will adjust your seat for you. Okay, so some fun features in the car. Here's your sunroof. This toggle switch up here, this toggle will change your lights. And every time I can see that, it's the internal lights. So it kind of gives you mood lighting. Down here is your menu button. When you push the menu button, your center display will change. And then circling it and changing this little dial here changes the center console to whatever you want to be at. Usually the media. That's where you can find presets, you can hook up your phone, you can do whatever you like to in this part. Speaking of phone, down here, I... Okay, some last minute tidbits. On this little toggle switch, kills the engine, does the stop start thing. So if you don't want it, that turns it so that it's always on, that turns it so it's always off. Okay, and then lastly, the top. Okay, this next part, it does rain occasionally in Arizona. When it does, it downpours. And so this is the switch for the windshield wipers. You push it up to go, and then you push it back down to stop. So that's how you toggle the windshield wipers. The switches for the lights are right up here. And they're pretty bright. Okay, now just remember that there is plenty of room for passengers up front. You could even make a Costco run if you really wanted to. So I hope you enjoy Big Red. You have a USB port for your phone or a standard cigarette lighter that could also be plugged in to charge for your phone as well, like I have right here. Finally, a little spot for your phone. This guy expands out and he put the phone right there. Now the Mini is a turbo, and so it is kind of fast. So please have fun. Okay, the last thing we should talk about is which side of the car the gas tank is on. As you see by the arrow next to the little gas pump on the dash right there, the gas is gonna be on the passenger side, as you can see. Okay.